In today's video, we are going to have a basic introduction on operation of functions and we are going to find its domain. And these are the fundamental operations that you need to know. The first one, f plus g of x equals f of x plus g of x. The second one, we have f minus g of x equals f of x minus g of x. And then we have f times g of x equals f of x multiplied by g of x. And the last one, f over g of x equals f of x over g of x, where g of x cannot be equal to zero. So these are the basic operation that you need to know. So let's start and let's have an example. An example number one, if f of x equals 3x minus 2 and g of x is x squared plus 2x minus 3, find each of the following and find the domain. On letter A, we have f plus g of x. This will be f of x plus g of x. So let us have f of x, which is 3x minus 2 plus g of x, that is x squared plus 2x minus 3. So let us combine like terms. This will be x squared and then 3x plus 2x, that's 5x, and then negative 2 minus 3, that's negative 5. So this will be the value of f plus g of x. And to find the domain, whenever you have a linear function or quadratic function or any polynomial function, the domain is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On letter B, we have f minus g of x, and that is f of x minus g of x. So this will be 3x minus 2 minus x squared plus 2x minus 3. So let us distribute the negative sign. This will be 3x minus 2 minus x squared minus 2x plus 3. So we are going to have negative x squared. And let us combine like terms. 3x minus 2x, that is positive x. Negative 2 plus 3, that's positive 1. And this will be the value of f minus g of x. And to find the domain, since we have a quadratic function, the domain is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. On letter C, we have f times g of x, and that is f of x multiplied by g of x. f of x, that is 3x minus 2, multiplied by g of x, that's x squared plus 2x minus 3. So let us have 3x multiplied by x squared, that is 3x cubed. And then 3x multiplied by 2x, that is positive 6x squared. And then 3x multiplied by negative 3, that's negative 9x. And then we have negative 2 multiplied by x squared, that's negative 2x squared. And then we have negative 2 multiplied by positive 2x, that's negative 4x. And then let us have negative 2 multiplied by negative 3, that's positive 6. So let us combine like terms. This will be 3x cubed, 6x squared minus 2x squared, that's positive 4x squared. Negative 9x minus 4x, that's negative 13x plus 6. So this will be the value of f times g of x. And to find the domain, since we have a polynomial function, the domain is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On letter D, we have f over g of x. So this will be f of x over g of x. And that is 3x minus 2 over g of x, that is x squared plus 2x minus 3. So to simplify this one, we can factor the denominator, and this will be 3x minus 2 over the factors of x squared plus 2x minus 3, that is x plus 3 
multiply by x minus 1. So there's nothing we can do in this function. Now, how do we find the domain of this function? Remember, we don't have a 0 on the denominator. So this will be x plus 3 cannot be equal to 0. And x minus 1 cannot be equal to 0. So this will be x cannot be equal to negative 3. And x cannot be equal to negative or positive 1. Now, how can we write the domain of this function? If we are going to have a number line, let's say this is negative 3 and this is positive 1, we are going to use an open circle at negative 3 and positive 1 because negative 3 and positive 1 is not included in our solution. And this part is our solution together with this one and this one. So this is negative infinity and positive infinity. So to write the domain, this will be from negative infinity, comma, negative 3. And we are going to use parentheses because negative 3 is not included. Union, negative 3, comma, 1. Union, to 1, comma, positive infinity. So this will be our domain. And that will be our answer. On number 2, let f of x equals x squared minus 5 and g of x equals 5x plus 4. Find each of the following and give the domain. On letter A, we have f plus g of x and that is f of x plus g of x. And this will be x squared minus 5 plus g of x, that's 5x plus 4. So this will be x squared and then let us write 5x. And then we have negative 5 plus 4, that's negative 1. And this is the value of f plus g of x. And to find the domain, we are going to have from negative infinity up to positive infinity. On letter b, we have f minus g of x, and that is f of x minus g of x. So this will be x squared minus 5 minus g of x, that's 5x plus 4. So let us distribute the negative sign. That's x squared minus 5 minus 5x minus 4. And this will be x squared, let us have negative 5x, negative 5 minus 4, that's negative 9. So this will be f minus g of x. And to find the domain, whenever you have a quadratic function, the domain is always all real numbers. So the domain in interval notation, that's negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our answer. On letter C, we have f times g of x. And this will be f of x multiplied by g of x. So let us have f of x, that's x squared minus 5 multiplied by g of x, that's 5x plus 4, 4. So let us use FOIL method, x squared multiplied by 5x, that's 5x cubed. And then x squared multiplied by 4, that's 4x squared. And then we have negative 5 multiplied by 5x, that's negative 25x. And negative 5 times 4, that's negative 20. So this will be the value of f times g of x. So whenever we have a polynomial function, the domain is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. On letter d, we have f over g or f divided by g of x. This will be f of x over g of x. So this will be x squared minus 5 all over 5x plus 4. This will be our answer. But there is a restriction in the denominator because if we plug in a number that makes 0 on the denominator, we are not going to have a function. So let us have 5x plus 4 cannot be equal to 0. 
So this will be 5x cannot be equal to negative 4. And this will be x cannot be equal to negative 4 over 5. So this will be the restriction. If we are going to draw a number line to identify the domain, so this is negative 4 over 5. This one is from negative infinity and the other side is from positive infinity. Negative 4 over 5 is not included in our solution. That's why we are going to use an open circle. And this part is our solution together with the other side. So to write the domain that is from negative infinity up to negative 4 over 5. But negative 4 over 5 is not included. That's why we are going to use a parenthesis union from negative 4 over 5 comma up to positive infinity and this will be our answer so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all